Where does all the water come from? There is a wellspring in the rock below us, mistress. The soil is permanently saturated by it. Permanently saturated? That's interesting. Maybe you would start worshipping a being if your only source of water was that it comes out of the ground mysteriously. There can't be that many robots left. There were a few hundred in my cohort. What's a cohort? My manufacturing branch. It is hard to explain. They're your family? I recognize myself in them. Is that the same thing? At any rate, we would all appreciate it if you took more care of, of your robots. What has she been doing to all the robots? I'm just trying to get Disco Elysium vibes where I'm just like... Boop. Hello. <laughs> robots are stupid. That's the problem. They run well, up to a point. But then they throw themselves over a cliff. Throw themselves? Or are they pushed? It's about 50-50. If I'm honest. If I'm honest. Have you been pushing robots off of cliffs? They kind of seem like people to me, so I'm not psyched about that. What are the chronicles of Maz Wai that Huang's always reading about? I believe Maz Wai is a pilgrim sailor. She writes about the various places of the nebula, and about how the Great Loop has acted in these places. Maz Wai believes in the Great Loop, then. Maz Wai is an original source for the hypothesis, mistress. As much as anything is a source in the Loop, mistress. Master, Master Huang says the book became common shortly after the establishment of the Hortley Empire. Six, what do you know about the Loop Temple? I know little of the Loop, mistress. The Loop priests claim that life is a great cycle. They believe that all that happens has happened before. Literally happened? Do you think we've had this conversation before? I believe that is the idea, mistress. Is it true? The probability of it is incalculable, mistress. There is no meaningful data. Hmm. So they do think that all of time is just repeating over and over again. Well, I have evidence that it takes more than 22 minutes this time. <laughs> the Loop Temple is extremely well-placed, Mistress. They have a lot of money and significant power. They are the heart of the Protectorate. No remark button, I don't think. Every conversation that crops up makes me afraid to walk. Because I'm afraid that I might, like, break the interaction. Mistress, you may not realize, but... The Loop Temple are my owners. But you're owned by the university. By Miari. Yes, mistress. Indeed. How many moons are there in the Iox Protectorate, Six? At the last settlement, it was 23. Protectorate is... 175 years old-ish. It is the transition point between the Dark Age and the Modern Age. Yep, no matter how much I zoom in all the way down to the seconds, that is the exact moment at which the transition between the two ages happened. 
That's that's a quite a, a thing to observe. Oh, that's trippy to watch. They gave that moment significant historical significance. Isn't that a lot to manage? There are no threats at present. There is no this this no doubt eases the situation. Is Y for going up? I think it is. Do conversations just organically come and go in the middle of me doing other things? I think they do. Ajax wants more moons in the Protectorate. Ajax has sufficient income at the moment, Mistress, I think. But the Ajaxian population is not falling. So what do the moons get out of being in the Protectorate? Theoretically, the support of the Auxian Guard. But that is largely historical. Pigs. Look at these goofs just, just booping around on foot. So much rice. Just lying around. I get scoop enough into my bag to feed an Elberithian family for a week. None would even notice it was gone. I had heard Elbereth was a moon of thieves, mistress. I had assumed it was a slur rather than a strategy. <laughs> Why can't everywhere be like this? Enough food, enough space. Water to spare? Indeed, mistress. I had assumed it was a slur, not a strategy. What a response. There's plenty of rice stored up, too. Elbereth should move itself here. I believe that is exactly what the Protectorate exists to prevent. Well, and it sounds like you're systemically encouraging the Elbreth to be thieves, if that's what's going on. Are all the people running from me? <laughs> what did you make of Renba's brooch, Six? The one he sent to Miari? I was struck by the craftsmanship. It seemed very fine to me. It must be an Empire period artifact of high status. Good faith, lady. My apologies, Eoxian. My pigs need me. Oh. Please, if you could just... And she's gone. Did I do something wrong? You came here. Perhaps that is all. Oh. The locals don't seem surprised to see me. Or to see you. I imagine robots collect supplies from here routinely. The locals, I note, also do not seem pleased to see you. Hmm. I was wondering if they were avoiding me, because I, I could see them in the, di the distance periodically, but then when I came up here, they were all gone. Do you know what Renba taught? Robotics, mistress. Did you ever talk to him? He interviewed me shortly after my activation. That memory is somewhat hazy, however. What is he like, Renba? I could not judge him, mistress. The interview was largely technical. He was mostly concerned with ensuring my vision was in line with his expectations of gravity. 
You sure you don't remember anything? From before you were buried? Nothing. I can barely recall my activation, mistress, and that was quite recent. I understand humans have a similar problem with memory. You're talking about childhood. It's true. No one remembers being really young. A robot being immortal is essentially always young, mistress. That's a read. There's a little UI quirk that I'm, I'm picking up on. It's a little frustrating. Is that on the bottom of the screen, you get the two reply options, the X and the B one. Sometimes you only get one option and it stays that way. Then other times one option pops up and then the other one suddenly lights up. And oftentimes the second one lights up when I'm already pressing the first one. And it's a bit of a weird quirk because like the dialogue uh, in other situations is timing based. And then I think in those cases it also is where you can, you can run out of time and miss it. So you're kind of inherently pushed to go as soon as you're ready. Uh, so the idea that the interface sometimes pops up one option and then pops up another option when you're in the middle of already pressing the first one and you can't react in time to und to change your, your path. You're like, oh no, and then you just miss it. It's just a little frustrating because it makes me think I don't have a choice and I'm basically just pressing a button to continue the, continue the conversation where the primary choice is either continue the conversation or let it fade. But then a surprise bonus choice happens right when it's too late for me to react. That keeps happening. Every, every time you see me pause the game, it's because I'm worried that another timing-based thing might pop up, and that's my, my fix. <laughs> up this way. There must be someone here I can talk to. What is your ethical core, anyway? What good is it? Obviously, it is what stops me from pushing humans off cliffs, mistress. Is that something you want to do? It was simply an example, mistress. Picked at random. <laughs> Were it to be convenient for me to do so, my core would prevent me. This was what passed for a street on my Erzy. Buildings on stilts, jumping out of the bushes like children. It was so quiet. May air see. There we go. Interestingly, the game that this game's currently reminding me of is, uh... And it's part, in part because that game had its own interesting, strange, hybrid graphic style, but... I'm thinking of Cloudpunk a bit. In that it's a primarily dialogue-driven game that, that has peppered in dialogue that kind of, like, bridges the gap between everything you're doing at all times. Like, that, like, uh... Cloudpunk was a cyberpunk-ish game where you were working for a taxi service and for a, a society that was essentially on its last legs uh, for a number of dystopian reasons in a, in a city that was collapsing. And uh, it had these continual uh, conversations. Like The whole game was about hanging out with characters and talking to them, essentially. And so the, there's a very interesting, similar vibe here. Like, admittedly, not as good as... This dog, this guy is, this AI is interesting to talk to. He's not immediately, you know, the the dog we got to talk to all, all game last time, but it's a, it's a, it's Cam, Camu, Camus? Shit. I miss him, actually. I need to go back and play the sequel DLC. I meant to do that relatively soon after I played the original game, but then, you know, time happened. <laughs> Logistically, it's really hard to ever do it. I, everything I plan to do because there's so many options competing. I'm already thinking about like, oh, I, I, like during the last conversation, I was like, I should do Cloudpunk's DLC after this. And I was like, well, I already recorded Black Sad to air next. And also Halloween's going to be coming up in a few months and got to clear the schedule for that month and potentially play horror games and put everything else in pause for a bit. And I'm like, and before I know it, it's 2025 and I still haven't played it. <laughs> it's exactly the kind of thing that held me back from playing this game. Now, what would Janiki be doing here? There aren't any robots in Marisi. Are they? Robots uncovered on Marisi? Is that why Rember went here? It's a bit of a thing you just went and added. Oop, did I see a prompt? Nope, just shiny flowers. If Rembo was here, then someone must have seen him. This place is small and full of people. 
if they will talk to you, mistress. Why wouldn't they? You are an outsider, mistress. So was Renba. Okay, so we're getting more and more of her character, and she seems to be kind of an entitled little shit, so I think you were inherently supposed to come away from that first conversation as having annoyed uh, the older woman, because it seems like you probably are abrasive to everyone all the time. Uh, it's probably why she's not getting as much cooperation as she could be, but her being a little rebel that's not worried about pissing people off a bit might also be why she commits so hard to doing what she does, which is cool. Uh, like, it is cool that she's invested in this thing that no one else will look into because of her divergent personality, I guess, but the, uh, she does seem to kind of suck in other ways. Like, the reckless destruction of robots that are apparently, like, the, just the fact that they are a technology from the distant past that she is supposed to be caring about, and every time one of them's gone that's just a permanent loss of robot and they'll never get more of them again uh because they don't know how to make them is distressing <laughs> like she should not be distraught she should be taking better care of her robots regardless even if they're assigned to her and inconvenient or something uh and here she doesn't seem to have a good that good of self-awareness of the idea that she is kind of out of place here and she's intruding in a space that doesn't react well to people from the a different part of the society and how this place is organized coming in here and i think there's a class disparity here that makes these people nervous that she's not really tuned into so it makes me wonder because yeah if renbo was here then they almost certainly are super aware of where renbo went or that he was here because he probably stood out like crazy and that was probably very apparent uh the question is whether or not they had a hand in whatever happened to him or if he simply came and went and they just don't want to talk to any of us. Because it would be they would be all the more hush hush if something happened to Renba and they know what it was. That'd be a hell of a sign. I saw that prompt about the well, but I just want to poke around a bit. There's not many people tending all these crops. Plants are not like pigs. They do not require constant husbandry. What do you know about pigs? I met people. <laughs> they are also livestock. With the way that guy stopped by me, I thought that we were about to chat. This light calls me like there's a thing here, maybe. Maybe not. They could probably do with like a bit of an anti-jitter implementation in the programming of just like when characters rub against walls, maybe don't let them rapidly alternate between their two poses because it's, it's a bit goofy. Why do they build on stilts, do you think? Floodplains. Surely it doesn't flood up here. The mud, perhaps, mistress. Or perhaps animals sleep underneath. No. Nothing here. What, why were you so sure there was something there? You told me there was something there. I, I, I trusted you. Good faith to you. Are you lost, Eoxian? You and your robot pig don't seem to know what you're here to take. You don't like Eoxians here, do you? That's no secret. But perhaps you should head up to the well. That's the heart of our village. Now why would Renba come to a moon of people who hate Eoxians? That doesn't sound like fun. Why my faith? It stinks here. I do not believe pigs are known for their hygiene, mistress. Does she refuse to be in the pig area? Nope. Wow. Wow! And how reliable is your core? Evidently, it is the core of my being, mistress. 
If it goes, I go. Ugh. I stepped in something. Mud, mistress. I know what mud is, six. Of course, mistress. Will your tracks cope with the muck? Of course they will. They clean themselves, too. Good faith. I'm looking for a well. You head uphill, you'll reach the pool. Down from there, towards the houses, you'll find the well. Why do you have a well if you have pools? Lily, you have never lived around pigs. <laughs> Please, leave as soon as possible. They do not like us at all. You've never lived around pigs. What a line. Three paths met at the heart of the village. I could imagine them all, sitting around here in the evenings, sipping rocker and singing. It seemed nice. Then you have all the pigs. Stranger. Greetings. Greetings to you. Welcome to Mercy. You have come to trade? Actually, I'm looking for someone. Who? Not a Mayersian, surely. We are alike as ants to you. Ugh. That's not true. So you are looking for a Mayersian? A man named Janiki. I have not heard of anyone by that name. Good luck with your search. They say the nebula is wide. Helpful. It appears Renbo was never here, mistress. Perhaps we should return to the ship. Mayari told me to look, so I'm looking. Please, I need to talk to you. Is that so? Do you recognize this? I recognize the symbol of our Aeoxian masters, of course. But do you recognize this brooch? No. No one here would own a brooch like that. Not every slave must wear their chains. You aren't afraid to criticize Aeox. What would your people do to us? You already take our food. Good faith to you. Good faith. Please keep it quick. I don't want to talk to you. Uh -huh. I was admiring your statue. Who is she? Kibenya. She blesses the fields. I'm looking for someone. An Aeoxian called Janiki Renba. 
Are you expecting to find him hiding behind a tree? <laughs> I just want to find him and go. Good faith to you. <laughs> people are so... I'm enjoying it. It's like people are so done with my shit here. Is that an inscription? At least this won't be a completely wasted trip. It has been mostly scratched away. More characters. This is two words, not one. But where does one word end and the next start? I mean, it's a well, so maybe water. Yeah, holy water. Interesting. So these are all words we've already interpreted, right? And so because I assigned these words to past terms, like I, I saw inscriptions and assigned English or the equivalent of English words to them. So before we just had words on the bottom of the screen and symbols on top. Now we have symbols on top. And then on the bottom we have symbols that I've assigned definition to. So I get the combination of the symbol and the word at the same time, but I made those words. And so whether or not the I can assign the statue meaning or the swell meaning is based on whether or not my past terms were correct or not. Given that it is a well, holy water might make sense. And so this might be an indication that I was right in the past, especially the water part. Could be like goddess water or something if, we, if I'm just dead wrong about somebody's words and have to rearrange them or something. I'm feeling confident about my translation of holy now. More so than water? <laughs> you feel more confident about holy than water? Or And that's the word for water. Short and simple. And almost a pictogram. Okay, they are confident about, about water. I was going to say, it looks like a little river. Now it's we've correlated with a well. Holy water. What do you see there? Can you read this inscription? A child could read it. The symbols simply say, water. It says more than that. We have lived here for many years, Eoxian. Hmm. On one hand, they could, they could be wrong, but on the other hand, it's really, really presumptuous to think that you know more than the people that live here about what the words mean. But they are similar meanings, at least. Another thing. Yes. Have you seen any Eoxians recently? I told you, no. Your husband, perhaps? Gone wandering? I'm afraid something's happened to him. If we had seen your husband. If he had met with an accident among us. What would Eoks do? I just want to know where he is. We have not seen him. Now leave. I don't understand why you're lying to me. The man sighed. Your husband was here. He left in a ship. Then something exploded in the sky. I do not know if that was your husband. Thank you. Good faith to you, lady. Please, 
Leave us be. Hmm. Something exploded in the sky. It seems as if Renba left. And has left us. Shall we leave? I don't understand. What was he doing here? Someone must know something. Nah, I think we got what we're gonna get out of this. Probably head back to the ship. That's a good start. So, you were really dug out of a wall on Eox? I believe I was removed from a wall. The exact events are hazy. We're back on autopilot mode. Sort of a selective use of it. I did walk around here manually earlier. I think they're trying to guide my adventure to have a certain flow. I feel like we're walking in circles. That is because we are. But we were not alone. I mean, this place is full of people. Oh, this person walking up on me? You were from Iox? I was born on Elbereth. But you are from Iox. You don't like Ioxians around here. Many don't. It's true. But not me. Have you met any Axions? I recognize your voice, your accent. He told me you might come. Janiki? My tall Aoxian. He left something for you. With the goddess, to keep it safe. So Janiki was here. Do you know where he went? I'm looking for him. He promised he would come back. I did so. I did so like to believe him. I hope you find him, Miss Miari. Ah, it's for her. Thank you. I have to go now. I don't want them to see me talking to you. Hmm. Nikki left something with the goddess, did she? Now, why would he do a thing like that? That's interesting. So I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of an advantage here by people just intuitively assuming that I'm his husband, or his, she's, he's my husband. Seems Janiki knew he was in trouble. I don't think we're going to find him. You are an archaeologist, mistress. You may yet dig him up. Please, Six. That's cruel. Is it? My apologies, mistress. I was merely trying to be factual. Now that she's invest now that she's invested, she doesn't want to hear her own joke come back at her. How did you end up in a, in a hole on Iox? I have no idea, mistress. I do not know when I was buried, or what I had done to deserve it. Professor Miyari assures me it is part of the loop. So then, uh, uh, when they're destroyed, are they also undestroyed? Oop. And here's Renba's mysterious secret. Almost buried in the grass. A shard of crystal. Doesn't mean anything to you, Six? 
It is most curious. The moon does not contain any crystals of this type. So Rumba brought the shroud from somewhere else? The crystal moon. The chunk of crystal Rumba left on Mary. Mary came from distant water, black water, but leaving nebulous waters too risky, surely. I don't know if I know, know how to find the site yet. Hmm. Maybe we're Ven maybe we'll have like a Venn diagram between these two locations to find where he is now, if they correlate. That seems likely. So were you off while you were buried in Iox? Asleep? Is that why you can't remember it? I do not know, mistress. I cannot remember. Maybe the roboticists wiped your memory after they dug you up. If I'd been buried alive for a hundred years, I'd be mad. It was longer than that. A thousand years, perhaps. But I cannot remember them. I wonder what else you used to know. Uh, everything you're currently trying to learn, probably. <laughs> like, the entire language is probably in there. Or was. Once upon a time. Doesn't it bother you? That you don't know where you came from? I understood you were an orphan, mistress. That does not bother you. Alright, snarky. Unnecessary. Back to the ship, Six. We've done all we can here, for now. This way, mistress. And so we left the warm, wet fields of Mercy. Aboard the Nightingale. Rimba left a crystal for Mayari to find. But what was he trying to tell her? We could otherwise sail to Lox and tell Mayari what you've learned so far about Renba. I'm quite certain in my analysis, mistress. So it's what? A lead? Maybe. Perhaps it was left as an offering to the goddess. Perhaps Remba followed ancient gods. We don't know the crystal has anything to do with Janiki. The people of Mercy do not sail, mistress. And the traders of the Protectorate come from Iox. Therefore, Renba is a highly probable source for that crystal. So where's the crystal from? I believe this shard comes from an asteroid somewhere on the edge of the Cyclones. The Cyclones is a dangerous wild. There's nothing there but clouds and storms. I am aware of that, mistress. I wonder. What exactly did Renba discover? It's very fun, this whole aesthetic that like space is the ocean somehow. Like we go from planet to planet via sailing, some sort of like solar current or something. And like you look around like here, like we're in a ship with portholes. It all looks like a boat and like it's rocking like a boat. It's we're hearing watery noises. Like this is some this is a wild setting. The dangers of sailing through a hurricane? 
I don't want whatever happened to Renba happening to us. I will do my best to keep you safe, mistress. But then again... I imagine Renba's robot said the same thing. This higher class of people just burns through their robots. I'm reminded a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the Ad Astra setting in that there's this like upper and lower class and like the upper class straight up has ancient, they have access to ancient technology that the other groups don't. It's a very different setup. I guess we'll see how this goes. Let's go to the crystal moon and try not to die. Yeah, in, in Ad Astra, we don't see a lot of them sailing to the crystal moon. In that Esther, we don't see a lot of the the commoners and exactly what their normal life is like, but we do know that they don't have access to all of that parental tech that, that Amicus and everyone has. Which would change things significantly. Are there other ships on the rivers, mistress? I have not seen any. There are, there are other ships out here. But you rarely see them. Everyone goes at the same speed. Right, so you have to pass each other just right at the crosses. So no one ever passes you by. So explaining why we don't see anyone is because... Everyone's controlled by the flow of the thing. Although I thought A... You should go right, mistress. I thought that A was making me go faster. I'm not entirely clear on how it works, though. The change in camera distance definitely feels like I'm going faster. People who like people stay on the ground. You do not like people, mistress? That explains a lot. I think there's like a pulse to it, or every time that it flares back out, you can sort of dash forward again. Tell me. Is there anything you do like? Ah, I got, I missed it. Oh, let's you go back. Ah. I like silence. Steering is pretty difficult, Jesus Christ. safe. Nothing wrong gonna go on there. Either of the rivers leads to our destination, Aaliyah. Aaliyah, have I angered you in some way? I fear our relationship is not entirely cordial. Was it supposed to go this way? Uh... You're annoying. The dialogue's playing while I'm doing this, oh no. I see. X was simultaneously a choice for both, con both con the conversation and resetting, but it was awkward. Were my predecessors annoying? My findings indicate the crystal moon is close at hand. We're still going. 
few possible search locations. Just that one, really. Sort of like a calmer river situation. Sweep sail. It seems like sweeping is only available. There's a rock up ahead. What have we found? Okay, so sweeping is kind of like rowing an oar, I guess. And so once you're in a place like that where it seems like there's not really a current, I don't think, you have to sweep periodically to dash forward, and that's the only movement you get. Above the crystal moon, why would anyone come to a lonely spot like this? We have arrived, Alaya. The moon below us is rich in purple iolite crystals. There is no surface flow. We cannot land the ship. But Renba must have gone down somehow. Indeed. Most likely he used a hopper. We might do the same. Is it safe? Not really, no. This moon does not have any air. I will have to go down alone. No air? So what was Remba doing here? I hope I will discover that. Please wait here. Just don't take too long. Unnecessary additional comment. Oh, it's a teleporter. That's what a hopper is. A moment later, the robot was gone. And I was alone in the dark. Oh, I thought we might control the robot. If I flew away now, I could be rid of that thing. You are relentless about this, aren't you? What were you up to, Renba? If you didn't find robots on Mercy, where what did you find? Malia. He was really fast. Oh. I found something, Alia. A tool chest? An engineer's chest. You better not have damaged it. Okay, thanks, Aaliyah, for your input. It appears intact to me, Aaliyah. We could take it, take it back to me, are we? I do not think Renba is inside. <laughs> Unless he is in carefully arranged pieces. Whatever's inside must be important. To hide out here, like this. Indeed, Aaliyah. Yeah, I'm picking a lot of dialogue options without knowing what the option is. She, this is Janiki's? The probability is high. I believe the moon below us was once a quarry. But this box is no artifact. I hope there isn't a snake in here. A roll of cloth? Why would Remba hide something like this? He must have had a reason, Aaliyah. His choice of hiding place was extreme. Thick fabric. Janiki, what is this? Some kind of robe? But it's hundreds of years old. And there's something stitched along the belt. 
tiny characters picked out in a darker thread. Hello. What have we here? <laughs> More words I don't know. Mm, big guesses. Takes I we sailors. I don't think we have context for that one. Pilgrims weaker citizens quickly. Hmm. That's a very long, long word. Pray and live follow. We pilgrims pray. Because that looks like holy. So I think this one might be pray based on just Trying to guess based on symbols looking like each other. It's like a verb for holiness. If the other one is like a noun for holiness or something, I don't know. The the end symbols are the same, the intro is different. I think the small thing at the beginning of a word might be a category of kinds. I primarily think this might be pilgrim because it's such a long term and a pilgrim is the most complex concept expressed here kind of because pilgrim the word pilgrim just has like a lot of context to it I feel like whereas quickly seems like it'd be a pretty short thing to express This one's harder, though. I'm just gonna say we pilgrims pray, I think. Try to, try to go for meaning. A ceremonial robe, I suppose. There's more in here. This is a solid brass box. It's beautifully preserved. Whoever made this didn't add an inscription on the lid. A shame. It's empty. This can't be from the same side as that robe. In fact, I don't think we've seen anything like this box before. So this originates from somewhere I haven't previously discovered. That's interesting, it's such a boring box. That's that's a exotic box to you? But that's not all. There's also a statue fashioned from gold. How did Remba get his hands on all this? There's an inscription on the base. Hmm. This one's a phrase run together. Hmm. That fits there. That middle part seems like it needs interpretation. I believe you can be confident in your translation of gods now, Alaya. And us must be correct too. Damn, am I just knocking out of the park? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, at least one more word to guess. <laughs> gods protect us, I would figure. Or ble oh, or bless. Offer us, tell us. Hmm. I take that one symbol to mean mountain, but that doesn't give me much. It might be protect. Protect or defend, tell, speak, offer, give, bless. 
Let's say protect. Does God's protect us make sense? A blessing for safety. I wonder if it worked. Most likely this comes from the same place as the box. This new find should help us to locate the source. So are these leads? Or are these things what Rembo was after? Wait. I will consider the matter. So Rembo was hoarding artifacts. Somewhere no one would find them. But why was he playing archaeologist anyway? Everyone knows I'm the only archaeologist on, I on Iox. And I'm hardly respected for it. If you were not respected, you would not be assigned a robot. Only children have minders, Six. I am more useful than that, Alaya. I have identified a probable location for the origin of the robe. How? Using residual radiation traces within the fabric. And triangulation with known artifacts. Robots are not entirely without purpose, Alia. It is not a good location, Alia. But Professor Miara was keen that we find Master Renba. And I am sure Master Renba is equally keen to be found. Show me where he went, Six. I am not exactly certain, Aaliyah. But I believe Renba traveled far from home. Into the eye of the Cyclones. Well now. Triangulated the moon. Okay. So there's a timeline for the last chunk of time. Found the purple road. Solid brass box. Golden statue. Triangulated the moon. So each of these is just a... It's history. That's the point of this pop-up, essentially. It's the history that we just made over the last couple of minutes, basically. But it is still history nonetheless, in addition to the timeline continually. So you can trace back what we've done so far in real time. This is interesting. I don't know what the, like, difficulty arc's gonna look like, or if this is gonna be, like, grander puzzles or something, because so far it's just kind of feels like onboarding. Granted, I don't know how long the game is or how it's structured, so it's, I'm, getting, I'm still still kind of feeling the whole thing out. But I'm, but I'm interested in seeing how it unfolds. And we are kind of a little shit. Oops, I sat on the screen for too long and the robot has disappeared. He's dead now. Oh, he's back! 